John 4, 2. Kaitwege, Jesus autas, uk e baptizen, al hoi mathetai autu. This is a parenthetical remark made by the author of the gospel in response to the statement above where it says the Pharisees heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John. And John the Evangelist, the author of the gospel, says, uh, in, however, indeed, Jesus himself, right, that's using altos there to intensify the noun Jesus, Jesus himself was not baptizing, right? That a baptizen is, of course, the imperfect form of baptizo. The lexical form there is baptizo. You can see there's an augment. There's no sigma that's come in there, no theta, anything like that. That's just the regular imperfect ending. It's just an imperfect active indicative third person singular. Jesus himself was not baptizing, right? But his disciples implied were baptizing. Let me ask you, is a spelling change, a spelling accident made there? I mean, look at that. The article seems to say this is going to be nominative masculine plural, but the ending there looks like nominative feminine plural. What's what's going on? Oh, yes, you remember. This is ha mathetes. Remember, this is one of those masculine nouns of the first declension, a masculine noun of the first declension. So the, the article is the DNA test. It always tells the truth. Right? This noun is, in, in the verse here, is nominative masculine plural. This noun that I've written below, the lexical form, that is nominative masculine singular. The article is, in fact, the DNA test. Notice when you have a possessive pronoun like his, her, uh, your, in such cases, the noun that it's attached onto almost always has an article as well, right? Because if you think about it, the personal pronoun is a mark of specificity, and to have the article in front of the noun is also just further reinforcing a specific or a designation.